Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto. It's a beautiful day. I'm alive and today we get to ride a Harley Davidson Fat Boy 114. Let's go. All right, let's get going. Make sure everything's secure on my backpack. All that good stuff. The neutral on these fat boys. Oh man, it is a learned skill to try to find neutral. Supposedly it's supposed to get better over time, but I haven't seen it yet. Well, it's Saturday morning as of the recording of this. Early August 2024. I, uh, the church I go to has a men's breakfast with like usually pancakes or French toast or and eggs, bacon, stuff like that. And so I'm just coming from that. And trying to get a quick ride in before supposed to be a uh, bad thunderstorms this uh this evening or this this afternoon this evening so trying to get out and enjoy the day a little bit i'm thankful to be off this weekend i usually work every or two weekends a month month i'm off two weekends and i work two weekends so i'm thankful to be off on a beautiful day like today Right now we're riding on a road called Old Lynchburg Road, just south of Charlottesville, Virginia, and uh, into the county of Albemarle. This road is a very popular road with bicyclists, so we may see some bicyclists this morning. But it's also kind of a deadly road uh, as you can see right now, it's fairly narrow, and it just gets more narrow the further south that you go. A little later today, I am planning on uh, hopefully trying to, take, to make my pipes. Um, I have the Vance & Hines uh, PCX Eliminator 300 exhaust on my Harley Fat Boy 114 and they are they sound great but I would like to try to get a little bit more sound out of them if possible without making them sound uh, tinny or hollow if you will so if you take the baffles out uh, completely then you're gonna get I've been told uh, a kind of a tinny hollow sound which I don't want you want that uh, deep uh, bassy sound if you if you can help it. Here's a bicyclist. That's what I'm talking about. Got to watch for those. We've actually had bicyclists. I don't know that we've ever had a bicyclist bicyclist killed on this road, but um, I know that there have been accidents with cars versus bicyclists, and definitely we've had some bicyclists uh, hurt very badly, maimed things like that uh, but yeah so the, the the exhaust so I don't want to take the baffles completely out uh, to avoid that tinny sound but instead uh, what I plan to do is take the so if you apparently if you remove the baffles they have a fiberglass wrap outside of them and I'm planning to take that fiberglass wrap out. And I've been told that that um, Canadian Saint um, used to have the same type of exhaust. And so um, he told me that that is definitely the way to go to remove that fiberglass. Uh, because if you completely remove 
the baffles, you're going to have that that hollow tin sound, tinny sound is just not going to be the results you want. So I'm going to take his word for it. He's never steered me wrong before. He's a smart guy. Uh, if you, um, he's got a lot of great videos on the Fat Boy. Uh, he's a Canadian saint. Uh, and saint is S-A-1-N-T. There's another bicyclist. I like that light. It's smart. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to Canadian Saints uh, channel in the description. He's a good dude to follow. He's got some pretty good videos. He's an inspiration for me. Uh, but, yeah, so I actually tried to do that the other day to remove the baffles, and there's a special kind of screw on the pipes called a security torx, I think it's called. And you have to have a special bit for it. Some say that you can remove the security torques here. We're coming up on another bicyclist now. Some say that you can remove the security torques screws with a flathead screwdriver, but um, I tried that and I felt like I was going to strip out the screws, so I, I quickly stopped and um, ordered the right stuff. I think I was able to get an entire kit of security torques bits off of Amazon for about... Uh, $14.22 or something like that. And I have the Amazon Prime Visa card, so I had some points from that, so I was able to get it completely free. So it's kind of cool. Every now and then that works out in my favor. So anytime I have uh, any kind of purchases, I'm using my Amazon Visa card. so that I can get free stuff on Amazon. It's like 5% back for any Amazon purchase. And 2% at gas stations and restaurants or something like that, or groceries, I, I don't know, 1% on everything else. But this worked out. I've been able to kind of keep my homes stocked with, you know, basics from Amazon. A lot of times the transactions are free, so that's kind of a perk to uh, having that Amazon Chase Visa card or whatever it is. Uh, today, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning, and I almost didn't take the bike out uh, because there was a forecast of rain, and that probably is a reality later in the day. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to get out and try to enjoy it. Um, tell you that today I didn't even want to get out of bed and go to the men's breakfast this morning. You know, um, if you sometimes you just get in a slump and you know you just kind of want to like stay at home and do a whole lot of nothing. We tend to, uh, at least for me, like something that I battle. Uh, and I'm aware of it is is depression, uh, and you know it, it it's, gets better. It's like a pendulum, you know. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. I know I definitely notice in January, February of, of every year, you know, as the winter starts to wear on, that uh, I start to have really battle seasonal depression. You know, from a lot of it is just from not having good light uh, during the winter. Not getting it as much exposure to the sun, which I, I, you know, the vitamin D and everything, it really helps, can help your mood. But, you know, like every now and then it's, you know, I'll get in these slumps where I feel like overwhelmed by the world, overwhelmed by work, overwhelmed by being pulled in 50 different directions. And I know that what I need is to spend some time by myself doing something like this. It doesn't have to be motorcycles. It could be something else that, that's enjoyable. You know, hiking or, you know, getting into nature is absolutely the way to go. It's like if you can combine a passion of yours or something that you enjoy doing with getting outside, that's a win-win because there's therapeutic value in both of those things. So, you know, I... I woke up this morning and I had, you know, set the alarm clock so that I could 
uh, get up and, and go to the men's breakfast, and that was that was the plan, right? Uh, but you know, I just you know there was a part of me that just didn't want to, and you know I fought through it, and I went ahead and. got up and I got out of bed and I got on the bike you know it was overcast at my house so I was like oh gosh it looks like it's gonna rain and he excused not to get on the bike now right but I pushed through and I got on the bike and I and I rode and you know it's like once you get over that battle once you get over the that, those first few most difficult steps you're like okay I'm glad I did this and I think that's so true of so many things in our life you know the hard things it's like just thinking about it um, is half the battle right it's Walnut Creek Park now see see how this road is now there's no double yellow line uh, it's a little bit more risky now, so I'm gonna not fly. Uh, I know the road, but there could be a deer around around the next corner. There could be a bicyclist, and there, or there could be a vehicle on the wrong side of the road. So I'm gonna ride with caution while enjoying it. It's beautiful down here, rolling country, rolling hills. Glad I'm not, I'm not on a pedal bike. But uh, yeah, that, that was kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Is that you know the the cows over there? If you're uh, find yourself struggling, you find yourself feeling depressed, you find yourself feeling isolated find yourself wanting to just kind of slide between the couch cushions and very unmotivated not do anything just know that it's very normal to uh, to feel that way especially if you're overwhelmed especially if you're battling depression or anxiety and if you um, it's okay to take a day and rest you know if you need that but you don't want to stay there uh, because that's not gonna, there's no healthy coping mechanisms in play, at play there. So there might be a coping mechanism at play in resting and taking a break and binging some, you know, some show on Netflix or YouTube or whatever, you know. That's okay. Like, you need to take time to, to rest. But you can't stay in that mode. You need to get out and do something that's gonna uh, help your brain to, to kind of heal and help your mood to improve and uh, that's where something like this comes in whether it's motorcycles whether it's hiking whether it's paddle boarding uh, taking care of uh, chickens or something like that you know mowing the yard get out and accomplish something and even though you don't want to I guarantee that you're gonna feel better uh, once you get out there once you once you tackle that task That's uh, about the most solid advice I can give somebody that might be in a, in a slump or might be feeling depressed, you know, uh, because that's the best way to, to naturally start to improve your own mood and battle that depression. Now, if you have deep, deep, deep clinical depression and, and stuff like this may not even make a dent, and that's when the professionals need to come in, you know, that's when you really need to, to see somebody see a uh, counselor, see a psychiatrist, psychologist, licensed professional counselor. Doesn't necessarily mean that you, you need to be on medication, but that might be a thing too. This house over here with this privacy fence is the, that's where Boyd Tinsley lives, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's where he lives. That's where he grew up. Yeah, the drummer for Dave Matthews. I think he's the drummer. This is, uh, so now we're off of Old Lynch.
Lynchburg Road, and now we're on the what's called Plank Road. Plank Road. These roads are just. You can see there's no shoulder. There's no uh, place to push snow if it snows, which it doesn't really a lot here, but uh, it's beautiful, but uh, it's very narrow, and these roads are about as old as Thomas Jefferson, and uh, what's important to realize about the age of these roads, and while some of them have been modernized in some ways, a lot of the roads around here are old, like we're talking 17 hundreds, 18 hundreds old, and they were not meant for vehicles to be flying down at 60 miles an hour. They were originally designed for horses and horse-drawn carriages, things like that. So, you gotta respect these roads and not, I mean, they're fun to fly down, but like, within reason, right? And I believe it's this road. There's a natural spring. There's like a, maybe on the other side, but somewhere on this road, there's actually a natural like spring, and there's a pipe coming out of the uh, coming out of the hillside where the water just kind of comes out of this natural spring, and people will will stop and fill up their water jugs just to have that real spring water free. You know, it's kind of neat. so good down here. Not a lot of humidity today. We did have some thunderstorms last night here, so it was like 98 degrees, 99, 97, something like that. Prior to that, brutal. to hear from you if you struggle from any kind of depression or anxiety. Tell little squirrel. What have you found that works for you? How have you faced it? How have you, or have you just, do you just live with it? You know, so many people living with different kinds of struggles and, and mental illness. Chipmunk. I'm pretty sure that was a chipmunk just crossing. 
across in front of me. Like, it's pretty rare around here, a chipmunk. When I was in uh, Massachusetts, they were everywhere. But here it's all squirrels, like for the most part. It's like 99.5% squirrels. Man, it's, it's so much cooler in these like little tree tunnels. It's so beautiful down here. area Keen K E E N E This is the Keen post office All right guys that's going to do it for this video I guess that guy's locking his car. Somebody's locking their car. I guess they think the guy in the Harley's gonna mess with their Subaru. This, that's it for today's video, guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to Rev Free Moto, please uh, subscribe. I, I appreciate your subscription. And uh, remember to like that video. It really helps me out. God bless. And remember, it's um, it's not where you're going. It's about who you are becoming. That what matters most. We'll see you in the next video. And I appreciate you watching.